Welcome back to Bloom. Protecting your skin now can reduce the immediate effects of skin damage and premature skin aging. Joining us to discuss simple steps that you can take to prevent sun damage this summer at the beach and in your home is dermatologist Dr. Jonathan Karp of Waters Edge Dermatology. Welcome to Bloom, doctor. Thank you so much. So first of all, let's start with what exactly is photo aging? Well, photo aging is basically when light is actually causing damage to your skin. And this can result in a whole host of things. It can result in dryness of the skin, uh, advanced accelerated wrinkling of the skin, as well as a whole host of pigmentary problems as well. Interesting. So how can we prevent photo aging? Because a lot of people think, oh, I've got to be out in the sun to worry about damage, but that's not the case. It isn't, yeah. So we think of the word photo aging. Of course, photo means light. And so there's lots of different aspects of light. So there's ultraviolet light A, B, C, and there's also visible light. And what we realize is that the ultraviolet light A, B, and C, there's also blue light, which exists right next to the UVA. And that can actually be very damaging to the skin. So let's talk about blue light. And I happen to keep blue light glasses with me at all times. I carry them in my purse, I use them. But you say blue light is really important, you know, for, for every aspect even more so than just protecting our eyes. That's right. I mean, blue light is actually essential for us because it activates different uh, circadian rhythms in our body. So we need a little bit of blue light to establish those rhythms. But the problem is, is that with continual exposure, it's actually very high energy light and therefore can actually cause photo aging as well. And when you're in lights, especially LED lights, you're getting a lot of, of this particular high energy blue light, which is also coming from screens as well. So uh, there have been multiple studies that have shown that uh, seven hours of this type of light can be equal to two hours of the blue light that you get from the sun. That is incredible because typically I wear these before I go to sleep, but you're saying wear them around the clock when you're in front of a computer screen. Well, you know, you, you need a little bit of blue light in the morning okay. just to establish the, okay. the routine. The issue is, is that your skin actually has its own circadian rhythm, which basically means that at nighttime when the sun goes down, your skin is supposed to go into its rest and recharge cycle. If your skin is then getting a lot of blue light from LED lights as well as computer screens, your skin is going to get excessive aging of the skin from this blue light, and then therefore you're actually continuing this to a point where your skin can't rest. And so it can give you that sort of tired look yeah. as well as all the, all the things that we spoke about with photo aging pigmentary issues, uh, advanced wrinkling, all kinds of things like that. Very interesting. So let's talk about uh, pigmentary issues. I mean, you, you kind of touched on that a little bit. Anything else that you wanted to add? Well, one of the things is, is that, you know, there's a difference between sunblock and sunscreen. Sunblocks right. actually reflect the light off the skin. But one of the things about that is that visible light can go through your, your typical sunblocks like zinc, and titanium. So for some people, they need an additional ingredient to protect against this visible light. And these are things like iron oxide. Um, these are, have a slight pigment, but they can also be used as a foundation as well. And any last words about actual photo damage that we need to know? Well, you know, we should protect ourselves. So mm -hmm. obviously, you know, dealing with a sunblock as opposed to a sunscreen, because the sunscreen ingredients are a little bit, you know, um, abnormal in the sense that they're, they're chemicals. Whereas sunblocks are physical sunblocks like zinc and titanium. And now, of course, uh, introducing the concept of iron oxide to protect if you're sensitive to pigmentary problems. I have to tell you, I've talked to a lot of dermatologists over the years. This is so fascinating. And I think you've provided us with a wealth of knowledge that we just don't know to protect ourselves. So thank you so much, doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. And for more information or to make an appointment with Dr. Jonathan Karp, you can visit Waters Edge Dermatology's website, WeDerm.com. And we'll be back with more Bloom right after this.